again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. You've clicked on this video for a very specific reason so I'll get straight into that and after I've gone through that news I'll go over some other fun little bits I've found around the internet this last 24 hours. So I know what everyone's been thinking recently. The Falcon Sweep needs to be restocked. And that's something that I've expressed to Mega a few times. I know that Mega have wanted to themselves, but they've not been able to give any solid information because they don't want to obviously raise expectations and then not be able to deliver on something. So I think it's wise that they've waited until this point to speak out, but at the same time, we need an answer right now. And the main reason we need an answer is because the holiday seasons are coming up, I really want to make sure that people are not spending too much over budget on the Falcon sweep and also kind of further inflating the secondary market which is not what we want. We don't want to encourage people that they can buy sets and immediately sell them online for a lot more. You know, I, I want to always make clear there's a big difference between scalping and an increase in merchandise value. When something stops being produced, when it's out of production run, it's welcome to increase in price on the aftermarket because it's scarcity in supply and demand. But scalping is a different deal. Scalping is when you buy something and then immediately resell it online for twice the price because of bad distribution. And that's not what we want in our community. So I wrote to Mega and I asked them to provide some kind of statement, some conclusive answer as to whether the Falcon is being restocked in the future to avoid people paying prices that they're not comfortable with right now. And I got the following statement. The Falcon will be returning in 2023 for a new production run sold exclusively on Mattel Creations, which ships globally in the original box with Mega Constrict's branding. Great statement, and I thank Yan for actually replying with this conclusive information. There's a lot to unpack here. Uh, first of all, yes, we can finally breathe a sigh of relief the Falcon is shipping again next year. And it's been clear, you know, that there were just some poor supply chains. There was some issue along the line from production to shipping that meant that the Falcon just didn't get the production run that I think even Mega wanted, certainly what the community wanted. And this is proactively uh, improving that situation. So there's going to be a new run of this sold exclusively on Mattel Creations. Now Mattel Creations, if you didn't know, is a part of Mattel's branding, a part of their e-commerce platform. Buying direct from the company, Mattel, i.e. Mega, selling direct to consumer, is so much better for them. Obviously they keep a lot more of the profit. They don't have to share it with redistribution, with shipping to a, say, Target, and then Target taking their cut when they sell it. Mega gets all of the money here, and that's very important. Mattel Creations is a great website to buy direct from Mega, and they have quite a lot on sale right now, mostly the Pokemon line, although the Pokemon line is incredible. I always like to say with the Pokemon stuff, I'm so glad Mega didn't release these Pokemon Mega Constructs when I was young, because I would have just had no savings whatsoever. They're so good. So right now on Mattel Creations, you can buy the Banished Phantom, Pelican Inbound, the Castle Grayskull, and Snake Mountain from Masters of the Universe, and a load of Hot Wheels, Pokemon, and even the Arbiter Quest. The Arbiter's Quest is available for $27 right now on Mattel Creations. And that's kind of fun that it ships direct from Mattel. Sometimes it'll come in really cool packaging. Now I want to address the elephant in the room. The Banished Phantom was the first Mattel Creations uh, product to be sold and have a big... Uh, promotional run. You know, a lot of people were very excited about the Banished Phantom being available on Mattel Creations, and a lot of people did end up disappointed because uh, the Banished Phantom was meant to ship first on Mattel Creations, and it ended up shipping first on Amazon. Some of these things are out of Mega's control. You've got to understand that, especially when you're under Mattel, there are so many moving pieces. To be honest, I do give Mega a pass on this one. I know the Banished Phantom did take a while to ship from Mattel Creations, but it was their first proper endeavor with uh, Halo Mega and you gotta give them a little bit of wiggle room. So I have a lot of faith that the uh, Falcon Sweep will ship successfully from Mattel Creations. You know, Mega have actually uh, been pretty good with, uh, you know, promising that they're going to redistribute something or restock something and really delivering. The 20th character pack is still available for $53 retail on Amazon.com. The last bit that I wanted to point out, it says in the original box with Mega Constructs branding. Now, if you remember when the Falcon Sweep came out, it was the original Mega 
Mega Constructs logo. Now they've redesigned a lot of their packaging, for example, things like the Pelican Inbound, to just have the new Mega logo and the new packaging design. And while people were a little reluctant to accept the new packaging design at first, I think it's warmed on people. I love the new packaging exponentially more than the old. It highlights the figures and the vehicles better. You know exactly what you're getting. You can see it from a mile away. Like it's easy to recognize. Like that Mega logo works perfectly in thumbnails. Like I I'm a big supporter of the new rebrand. And uh, what they're meaning here is that they're not going to rebrand or redesign the Falcon Suite packaging. It's gonna come in the original box. So they're just gonna have that same old Mega Constructs logo before the rebrand and everyone's gonna get the same box. That makes sense in a lot of reasons, particularly, you know, they, they don't wanna pay to redesign the packaging for something they're just shipping out once. The only other set that I can think that is in still constant production run with the old Mega Constructs logo is the Arbiter's Quest. So I wanted to get that news to you and I hope I broke it down well. There is no confirmed date for this yet, but I think Mega just wants to get into the new year and they'll have a confirmed date soon. And the second they do have a date, you'll find out about it on the domain. A couple more little bits of news before we finish today. Yesterday, images surfaced of the back of the packaging of the new Mongoose Outriders, an incredible low budget set that comes with the brand new Spartan Yoroi dropping in spring of next year. They confirmed from the back of the packaging that you can make two different alternate Mongoose Mongooses using the Bizarre Battleground and Decisive Engagement. If you missed it, the Bizarre Battleground and Decisive Engagement are two new like armory bays, armory packs from Mega, and they're really worth checking out. They are awesome stuff. There's a lot of people that predicted this, particularly Tower of Ultimate Doom, and yeah, you can make three Mongooses with the new line, which is awesome. So I'm all about that. Um, yeah, there was some indications with that uh, that turret uh, that, you know, the mongoose was going to be able to be redesigned and it's just really dope to see that they're doing it. Like, I love the compatibility of this. Really cool. One more piece from Mega Constructs News. A lot of people are concerned that their elephant pre-orders have been cancelled. The elephant is set to release Fall 23. And you've always got to ask yourself, do you want a set released now with poor distribution or in a year with good distribution? I think you know the answer. So we got to wait a little bit longer for the uh, elephant, for the elephant sand nest, sandbox, sand trap, but it's gonna be worth the wait, I'm sure. And yes, websites like Amazon are canceling elephant pre-orders, but that's only because they don't know themselves what the confirmed release date yet is. So if they cancel it, I would not worry. I think it's gonna be restocked in a really big way. And the final piece of news for today, I just want to personally congratulate Bravo. He just won the eSports Color Caster of the Year. And he's got such a legacy with Halo, so it's great to see him get the recognition he deserves. Watching him at HCS was a real treat. So folks, I hope you have enjoyed this bit of news today. Thank you to Mega for providing an actual statement. Falcon will be released next year and it'll be sold exclusively in its old packaging design on Mattel Creations. And the second we have have any news on how you can pre-order that Falcon, you'll learn it here on the domain and also check out Mega Constructs News. They're also a really great source for your Mega News. Shout out to y'all. You stay awesome. You stay safe out there, folks. The domain is signing off.